Hello, hello, amigos, amigas. Hola. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Well, afternoon here in Lima, Peru. Good morning, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you so much for coming to my kitchen this afternoon and, well, for your interest in Peruvian food, in the Peruvian cuisine. I'm going to show you today with the help of my brother, another local traditional recipe. Peru has lots of different recipes, like depending on where you are in the world, if you are in the north, if you're in the south, if you are in the jungle, in the Andes, in the coast, you'll never get bored of the Peruvian diversity. So every day we have a cooking class, as you know, here in Lima, there's going to be something different, right? And we're going to dive in lots of different recipes. So let me say hi to the group of people joining today. So uh, first of all, hola, hola, amigos. Hola, Adrian. Hola, hello, hello, Adam. Hi, thank you so much for visiting, Adam. Oh, hello, Evelyn. Hi, Mary Lou. Hola, hola. Thank you so much for visiting. Hola, Elizabeth. Mwah. Hello, thanks for coming. Uh, and Luis Alberto is here. Of course, he's preparing, as always. Uh, he's ready for another culinary adventure. And also, I'm waiting for Maple. I don't know what's happening with Maple. She's not coming. <laughs> I cannot start without her. <laughs> no, no worries. We're going to start slow first with the introduction of the recipes. Also, by the way, eh, amigos, amigas, um, for those that don't know it yet, I have a group in Facebook called Adventures in Lima with Vanessa, where I am sharing like for free a printable of every cooking class we have. So if you are, for example, wondering how I uh, was made the stuffed potato of last week, so there you can go, you can download the PDF. It has the uh, all ingredients and also the whole preparation. Uh, so we are uh, planning with my brother to do a, a cookbook uh, of all of these experience, uh, like every month we're going to be uploading like little uh, advances of this cookbook. So well, this is a little gift for you all. See, so, <laughs> you know, Evelyn, Maple is an institution in, in Hago in terms of, you know, foodies. Like uh, she is the first foodie of Hago. So is of course very, very famous. <laughs> We all know her. So, well, I hope she makes it. If she can, well, no worries because we're going to be sharing the PDF. And you all, my friends, are, of course, a very important part of this cooking show. So, activate the follow button and uh, also, in particular, of this show if you want to know more about the Peruvian cuisine. So, Marek, uh, oh, Adam, and Marek didn't want to go there. <laughs> Adam, Marek is working. Uh, by the way, for those who don't know about Marek, Marek is my husband. We used to do the cooking shows together. And well, but now he's back to guide. He's a tour guide specialized in Polish tour groups. So now he's working. So he's more absent now from home. Uh, we are back, you know, to work with tour guides. Uh, but I am now doing all of this in the company, all these shows from home in the company of my brother. So Adam, I hope you enjoy also my brother cooking. Uh, and for those that don't know my brother, his name is Luis Alberto. Luis Alberto is my baby brother. He is four years younger than me. Uh, he is a uh, bartender, professional bartender. Uh, he's also a professional professional barista. Uh, so he works with coffee. And uh, he's been working for several years uh, in kitchens of different restaurants. So he likes to cook. His specialty is Creole food and seafood, uh, marine food. So, uh, and he started to cook when he was little with my granny. So, well, now we're going to start. Hi, hi, Sherry, hello, thank you for coming. So let me turn the camera uh, to show you my brother first. One, two, and three. Hola, Luis Alberto. Hello. Hola, <laughs> so, uh, Luis Alberto uh, is going to help us today with the cooking and the procedure and all the step-by-step -step of um, developing this recipe. 
That is called. ¿Cómo se llama esta receta en español, Lucho? Pollo al maní. Pollo al maní. Or chicken with peanut sauce. A uh, Peruvian style. Okay, so we're going to start with this uh, fabulous uh, class. And Elizabeth also uh, just 85 people to get 1,000. Who, who is going to get 1,000? Oh, please, Emily, let me know. Let me know. Uh, so, uh, four years younger, and <laughs> that is place that goes. Yes, Emily, we are, we are very close. Uh, he is, uh, tú eres 34 años tienes, ¿no? Sí, 34. Todavía tienes 34. Sí, 34. Oh, so. Mentiroso, tienes 35. No, 34. Okay, yeah. He's, ¿Qué año ah, he's going to turn 34, uh, 35 this year, to, this year. And I'm also, well, uh, 38 years old. So, yes, we are very, very close. Look at his beautiful, cute face. Uh, <laughs> exactly like me. Look at me. Aren't we like twins? I hope I look better than him. So, <laughs> let's start now. Luis Alberto, explícanos, por favor, qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Ya, yeah, ok, bueno, espero que se encuentren todos bien. Este, el día de hoy vamos a elaborar <laughs> un plato también fácil, igual que todo lo que elaboramos con ustedes. Es pollo al maní. <laughs> ok. Es con pollo, obviamente. Vamos a salpimentar el pollo, que está acá. Ajá. Uh -huh, muy bien. So, oh, by the way, what he was saying at the beginning is that today we're going to cook pollo al maní. Pollo al maní. And we are starting with the ingredients. He knows the word cute, Diana. ¿Tú sabes lo que quiere decir cute en inglés? Bueno, cute is, uh, he says, bueno. No, cute is que, que, te, ves, que te ves lindo. O sea, Ay, estás lindo. Oh, uh, he, he, he's uh, like something really interesting. Like in between, you know, like a, a, a cute... Uh, and you know, like a macho, macho man, right? <laughs> gracias, Evelyn. <laughs> so we are going to start guapo. Gracias, Sherry dice guapo. Dice. Hi, Muy hi. bien. <laughs> so yeah. we're going to start with the uh, different ingredients. It's going to be easy, my brother says. It's going to be easy. Don't be, don't be shy with this recipe. It will be wonderful. So we start with the chicken. So we have here the pieces of chicken. Look at this. Uh, with salt and pepper. Previously, you know, covered with salt and pepper. It's, it's raw, it's not cooked. Yeah. ¿Qué más? Vamos a usar cebolla como siempre para el aderezo. Always, always a staple in the Peruvian cuisine is onion. Oh, cut onions yeah. in, chop in, in little pieces, little squares. Vamos a usar ajo. Garlic paste. Ají especial que es el colorado. A special ají, we call it, special sauce of, of chili, which is called uh -huh. ají panca in Peru. Uh, you can also find it internationally as paprika, paprika sauce. Okay? ¿Qué Vamos más? Vamos a caldo, caldo de, de, de pollo. Uh, chicken broth. Chicken broth, my friends. Yes, half a cup more or less of chicken broth. Vamos a usar el, el maní molido. This is the very, the most important part, I think, for the flavor. Uh, caldo de pollo, exactly, Evelyn. Oh, uh, that's the caldo de pollo. And here we have the grounded peanuts, right? Uh, I'm sure you can find the peanut grounded in supermarkets. Uh, but also another way to do it here, if you have just the peanuts, they have to be roasted peanuts. So sort of like a, not raw. No? And then they have to be um, blend. Mm -hmm. eh, or pro, eh, process, I think you would call it better. Oh, so um, you can also find in internet different ways, very easy to make yours eh, at home. It takes a long time, so that's why we decided to to have this step advanced. Vamos a usar papa. Uh -huh. So, papa. This is. ¿Qué papa es esta, Lucho? Es papa rosada. Pink potato, papa rosada. Eh, but uh, white potato for you will do good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y aparte, nosotros estamos usando, vamos a acompañarlo con una ensalada. Mm -hmm. A mí me gusta bastante ensalada pues, con cebolla, limón. Ajá. Vamos a usar una ensalada, este, cebolla, ají amarillo y vamos a poner un poco de culantrito. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm laughing at what Sherry is commenting. Um, eh, we're going to do a salad, my friends. This salad is going to be onion salad. One of my fr our favorite. You already know this, possibly if you've been a lot in this show. Uh, we're going to be doing a special on salads soon, Peruvian salads. Uh, also, to answer to my friend Sherry, yeah, we have 4,000 kinds of potatoes in Peru. <laughs> Not exaggerating. And this is the papa rosada or pink uh, potato, which is very, very similar to the white potato. See? Yeah. In flavor. Ya tenemos... 
Ya, ya tenemos la candela. Look at my pots. This is a clay pot, traditional Peruvian Vamos a style. And we're going to do the first part of this uh, recipe, which is sellado. Uh, can you imagine what sellado means? Uh, or maybe you, you know Spanish. Uh, sellado or sellar uh, is a very important part of many of the um, recipes that you're going to be learning to do here at home. So uh, sellado is searing. Yes, yes, Sherry. I thank you. I'm, I'm learning new words also with you. So uh, the idea is that externally you're going to cook. You're going to advance also the process of cooking of the um, of the chicken. It also helps penetrating the spices that are outside, like you have added to the chicken, right? So that's why it has to be very hot. The oil first. And that oil is going to be used later for uh, the next step, which is writing the onion, right? So we're going to be uh, checking and moving also the, um, the chicken. Eh, Lucho, ¿esta receta se puede hacer con otro tipo de carne? ¿Tú qué crees que sería sí, bueno? Sí, o sea, la receta original, o sea, la clásica, es así, pollo al maní. Uh -huh. Pero se puede probar, de repente lo pueden probar con carne, ah. con otro tipo de... de Maybe como... you can try it also with, uh, with um, beef, you can try it with... I think with pork, oh, with, will be really good. Also, Sherry is asking, really good, very good question. ¿El pollo tiene hueso? ¿Lo has puesto con hueso? Ya, yeah, sí, o sea, eh, normalmente puedes hacerlo, por ejemplo, acá, acá lo que hemos hecho es agarrar una pechuga y la hemos cortado en, en pedazos. Uh, hemos agarrado, por ejemplo, un pedazo de huesito, uh -huh. un pedazo de lalita. Pero también puedes agarrar y a poner una pierna, uh -huh. puedes poner encuentro. So what we, what we are, um, I'm also hearing from, from Luis Alberto, is that uh, what well, he, in part, has, has been using, like, has been using uh, the breast, the chicken breast, but also uh, when you buy this in the markets, uh, it usually comes with a little bit of the wing, or maybe sometimes they add you a little bit of bone, you know. So he has some of the pieces still with bone, right? But that's okay, because this part also, this sealed part, is searing part is going to be uh, important also to start the cooking of the bun. And uh, here in Peru, we love also the bun. For example, there you can see what, there's a little piece of bun over here, right? So we like that a lot. Uh, it also adds really good flavor to the rest of the, of the food. But most of it is boneless. As you can see, there are pieces that have no bones. For example, we like to separate the ones that don't have bones to my girls. Uh, because uh, sometimes they don't like too much the, the bone. And we, we like the bone. Uh, we adults, look at that. We have a couple of that have bones. Like for me, for example, like the wing, you know, and for my little girls, the ones that don't have the bone, right? Yes, Sherry, they give really good flavor. Always, always. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ahora vamos a, a usar acá. Acá en, en este, en esta grasita que ha botado el pollo, mm -hmm. vamos a Exactly. So, in the same oil that was previously used for the chicken, we are now putting inside the uh, onions. We're using red onions. Hola, Cecilia. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. We're cooking pollo al maní. Hmm? So, um, uh, is the... Is they cooking wine? Uh, uh, Evelyn, do you do you mean if we are adding wine to this uh, to this mix? No, no, it's just oil in this point. It's just oil, oil, and now well, uh, after cooking or searing the chicken, uh, we are re reducing this oil to cook now the onions. Mm? It's going to be really flavorful, huh? I like the marrow flavor in the bones. Yes, of course, Sherry. And I think that in, in Peru, we learn also since the ancient times, since the uh, arrival especially of the conquistadors and the introduction of the slavery and the slaves introducing their African culinary traditions and also using like 
all the elements of the of the uh, let's say of the of the products that the Spaniards did not want to use, like usually the uh, visceras or the no. stomach, right? So uh, we have you learn to use every part uh, of of every meat, for example. So that white part you saw there at it is the ajo. Ajo is garlic, garlic paste. Okay. So, ¿cuánto más o menos le pusiste? More or less one spoon. One, one spoon of garlic. We like good flavor. Mm? So, add wine to our mouth to cheers this meal. <laughs> yes, yes. And also talking about wine. I don't know if some of you uh, are in, uh, follow, follow me in my Facebook group, uh, Adventures in Lima with Vanessa. I share with you that I went... Uh, a couple of days ago to a beautiful dunes, dunes in the south of Peru, Huacachina dunes. And uh, there, one of the activities we do is uh, drinking wine and pisco. Also, I will show you in a moment one bottle of wine I brought with, with me. Really beautiful wine. I think it would be excellent for this. So this is the ají colorado. Uh, or the sort of like paprika uh, sauce. If you cannot find Peruvian ají colorado paste uh, in your in the Hispanic markets you you have in your community, it's understandable. No, it's, it's a little bit more tricky to find this one. You can replace it for paprika. Mm -hmm. Garlic is very important in Peru because yes, Cecilia, of course, a hundred percent. You know well about that, right? There's no there is they say Peruvian traditional dish uh, that don't have garlic, onions, right? That's the best combination. What also Luis Alberto added was a pinch of salt. Agregaste sal, verdad? Sí, sal, pimiento, We're pimiento. starting to add the flavors of salt. That's pepper also that Luis Alberto added. In this part, well, we Peruvians love flavor. We are never afraid of, you know, adding, you know, Oh, lots of spices, but not everybody is like that. It's not a cup of tea of everybody. So um depends on your taste. Huh? So we are adding a pinch of this, a pinch of that, right? Pinch of um, uh, pepper and also uh, salt. Vamos a echar los trozos de pollo. Now it's time for the pieces of chicken. Mm, it is starting to smell, my friends. <laughs> it is smelling like lovely, lovely, lovely. I would love uh, to to have uh, the opportunity of use a technology that will help me to share with you the smells. Yeah, Hola. Which Hola. one day. Hola. So now we're going to another part. Well, this is going to be done. Lucho, lo tapas mejor para que se haga. Ah, the this clay pot, which was a, a present my mom gave me. Uh, last week for Mother's Day. It's a traditional pot that is always used in the Creole Peruvian, Creole traditional cuisine. So I, I'm trying to show you the fire. The fire is not so high. Has bajado el fuego, no Lucho? It's not so high. It's not, it's like meat. Uh, the idea is that it's going to boil a little bit, okay? And now we go. Well, by the way, this is my kitchen, my friends. Uh, this is my kitchen. This is a real kitchen. We are not in a restaurant. You are in my house. Uh, it can be sometimes a little bit messy, but this is real. So I want you to feel comfortable here in my house. And, you know, my brother is not very well, like, a, let's say, in detail, organized. Yeah, he uses everything. Rah, yeah? And he's an artist, right? He's an artist. So at the end, I clean. That's my job after the tour. So... <laughs> So now we're going to use the blender. Okay, amigos. Ah, me voy para allá. Okay, so I'm going to use the blender. Gracias, gracias, Andrea. Gracias, Cecilia. Estoy poniendo ahí el caldo. En me, una, una media tacita. So we are using half a cup of uh, the chicken broth. And we are adding the um, grounded peanuts. Ajá, uh -huh, so... The idea is to hydrate the peanuts. ¿Cuánto de, 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 de cómo se llama, maní usaste, Lucho? A ver, estoy usando más o menos una, un poquito menos de media tacita. A little bit less than half a cup, more or less. Okay. Yes, more or less half a cup of uh, grounded peanuts, okay? 
Sorry, we don't use grains, like 100 grams of this. Like we, we are old fashioned, old school, like a pinch of this, a handful of that. <laughs> and at the end, remember that I'm going to be um, transcribing everything into a PDF and you can get that for free in our um, group of Adventures in Lima with Vanessa. Okay. <laughs> so now we are going to add no, to this no. mix, muy bien, Lucho. Look at this. Isn't this easy? It's really easy, right? These are ingredients that uh, most of them you can find at home, wherever you are in the world. You can also replace some of the flavors, like the chilies, for example, for the ones you like the most. Please be adventurous. I like the word adventurous uh, because you have to be adventurous in your life. Uh, and I think the success of Peruvian cuisine is because we are adventurous people in terms of taste. Uh, we like to venture. We are adding also potatoes. The potatoes have not been previously boiled. So we have to be also, uh, let's say, patient with this part. Uh, and we're going uh, to keep moving and moving and moving. He's going to check if we need a bit more of water, right? So that depends uh, usually on how much, you know, the liquid you can see between the, the pieces of, of potato, right? Some people uh, don't like to add potato in their recipe of uh, chicken and peanut sauce uh, because they will be serving it with rice. You know, so it's not really no, that, that mandatory for everybody. But in my family, I'm sharing with you the my family's also traditions and preferences. We don't care. <laughs> we, we love uh, rice and potato always, always. And that's why we are gaining so much weight. <laughs> because we are not doing the jobs we used to do, like more uh, physical jobs, right? Like we, uh, my grandma used to, you know, like, like go everywhere walking. She used to go every day to the market. And she used to cook one thing in the lunch and one thing for dinner. Now we just cook once a day. And uh, well, we, we buy things around the corner and that's it, right? Nos vamos. So, muy bien. And now we cover. Luis Alberto has tasted, has probado, ¿no? Si la sal estaba buena. Está bien. So, he had tasted the salt. Uh, so, at this point, you taste the salt. You correct. You you find it if, if it's necessary to add more. We're going to leave this cooking for a while. And first, I want to answer some questions. Sorry if I was not able to answer some questions. I was trying to translate. So, why isn't your mom in the window? No, my mom is not in the window. <laughs> And not this time. I, I was saying that the last time that my mom is super shy. She is super, super shy. And in many occasions, um, because she wants to see what we are doing, because it might be very nice. Like uh, as a mom, I see your two children working together. Uh, so she sometimes like appears in the window like that. Looks like that. But she's like completely hiding below this big, you know, like a... Um, column of theirs so but one day when i find her i promise i will show her to you all <laughs> so uh your mom knows why you like to cook yeah that's why she gave you yes exactly elizabeth and uh, it was a present for mother's day but it also is for, for using it, especially in the cooking shows right <laughs> emily yes at the end that's, that's my job cleaning all of that uh, so uh, and, and because I said that, my brother is cleaning now. <laughs> so he wants to look good also in front of you. <laughs> Regularly, he doesn't clean. I am the one that cleans. So uh, let me see if there's... It seems too similar to making chicken satay. Really, Adrian? So is, uh, um, uh, is it a, a, a recipe from where? From India? From Asia? Let me, let me know, please. I would like to know because... It can be also um, connected, uh, like historically, with with that influence. Hmm? When I'm there, <laughs> yes, yeah, Sherry. Of course, you can come to my house. If you are coming to Lima, let me know because we would love to cook for you. And here you have the house. You know, this is a, a modest house with lots of love, uh, and we would like to to show you a couple of things, maybe a ceviche or something. So, please just let me know. Hmm? So. 
Now, in a moment, in a moment, we are going to start with the salad. So for those that want to know how it's made, this salad that my brother was saying will be good with it, with this uh, chicken with peanut sauce. So he's just preparing everything. And also chicken satay is a staple in Indonesian cuisine. Ah, Evelyn, I would love to know how that is uh, made. I will check out the, the recipe. Uh, that's that's really fabulous. And and this is very curious, right? Because this recipe is very, very popular here in, in Peru. You will not find it, for example, in Lima in restaurants because it's considered to be like too modest like for a restaurant but it's a really delicious option that many families cook like on a monday on a regular monday or regular you know thursday now it's nothing special now, it's not a weekend meal it's a meal for you know a weekday right uh, it is oriental from china and other countries nearby oh wow adrian gracias thanks for letting me know peanut sauce however is condiment uh-huh Aha, uh -huh. yes, Indonesian cuisine is also simple. Yes, exactly, Evelyn. And we have, well, you remember that we have a, a large Chinese community in Peru. Uh, the largest Chinese community in South America is in Peru. Mm -hmm. And uh, it continues growing, continues expanding also. Uh, but it all start, it started with um, approximately 100,000 Chinese men who came to Peru in the 19th century. And now, well, there are millions of Peruvians that are descendants from those Chinese um, immigrants. Hmm? So, uh, oh, Sherry. <laughs> See, peanut is really wonderful. But if you, if you are, of course, allergic, I find really a hard to replace the peanuts in this case because it's peanut sauce. It also, in a moment, when my brother allowed me, and we still are cooking this, uh, I will start, I will show you three options for our next cooking class and you will vote so would you like to vote would, would you like to help me or uh, to choose the next class how it's going to be so please let me know if you would like to participate of this little survey we're going to be doing it live here during the event see ¿Sí? so lucho que vamos a hacer yeah. let me ahora vamos a comerlo con una salsa y estoy este, separando para ir este ¿Qué, ¿Qué vas a hacer, Luchito? Ahora, acá tenemos ya la, la cebolla cortada para ensalada. Ok, so Luis Alberto, for this onion salad, has already cut the uh, onions. Remember that we Peruvians love red onions. You can find white onions. Of course, you can. You can. You can go to the supermarket. You'll find. But it's not popular. Peruvians usually will not see the white onion as an alternative for Creole food. Um, and in part is because this one is way more flavorful, more potent. Uh, and we like the color also. So, ¿cuánto es de cebollita estás usando? Media, Media? Cebollita. So, approximately half an onion. Uh, chop in long. What is this, Lucho? Ah, amarillo. And this is yellow chili. Yellow chili. Uh, this is raw yellow chili that has been cut in long stripes. Okay. Yeah. And, culantro. and cilantro, in Peru we say culantro, this is Peruvian Spanish, it's going to be spicy, it's going to be spicy. See, sí, Evelyn, Evelyn says Juliana style, sí. exactly, uh, sí, look sí, at his face, sí. eh. <laughs> the, the expert in the kitchen uh, knows about the different cuts. Creo que hay que mover la parte de abajo, Lucho, porque se huele un poquito que se está pasando abajo. Yeah, okay. So, I'm asking also my brother to move the uh, ingredients in the bottom, because one particular detail about the clay pot is that you have to keep moving uh, uh, for not burning the bottom part. Right. Okay. Yummy, yummy. So this music you're hearing as a background is Creole music. We love Creole music when we are going to a restaurant sí, of classic Peruvian food. Se está quemando. No, Elizabeth. It was I was starting to, you know, scent, oh, that it, it could be necessary, but it's not burning. 
Oh, muy bien, Lucho. Ah, I see. It's a, it's that little piece that was in the bottom. Oh, yes, muy bien. Was taking too much color. So please move it, move it, move it. Ah, huh? move it, move it. Oh, qué rico. Huele bien. Muy bien. So we continue. Gracias, Cecilia. Gracias. And remember, if you're using a clay pot, you have to be extra careful with the temperature and the um, the heat of the fire. Gracias, gracias. We're going to add salt and pepper. <laughs> move it, move it. <laughs> muévelo, muévelo, ¿no? <laughs> so, we're going to add salt and pepper to this salsa criolla. The salsa criolla is also another staple in the Peruvian cuisine. It's an onion salad that is easy to be made. It's hot. That's why we like it. Mm -hmm. We are adding salt. We are adding a pinch of uh, pepper. Mm -hmm. Gracias, Elizabeth. And... Well, with it, really as much as you wish, uh, of pe pepper and salt. And there's one more ingredient that is very important. Yeah. What yeah. is missing? Okay. What is, eh, ¿Te has puesto la, la, todavía el otro? Todavía, no, no, no todavía. Okay. So what is missing, my friends? Who of you knows what is missing in this salsa criolla? There's one ingredient that is missing. Uh, my Peruvian experts, MSG. <laughs> And you know, moto is a bad Amor, oh, it has lots of love, Sherry. It has already lots of love. <laughs> so, no, it's not Amor. It's not a Ginomoto MSG. Muy bien, Cecilia. A hundred points for her. Limón, Limón, a Ginomoto. <laughs> so, of course, the Ajinomoto is sort of like optional. Many Peruvians love Ajinomoto. Uh, it's really a personal taste. My brother loves Ajinomoto. Ajinomoto is MSG, by the way. It's the brand that produces the MSG. So, but why we are not putting this right now? Lucho, ¿por qué no pones ahora el limón? Cuéntame. Ya, porque el limón lo que iba a hacer es, en realidad, mata la cebolla. Cuando está mucho tiempo, la, hace que la cebolla se muera, la mata, le decimos nosotros. Uh -huh. O sea, se va, se va a poner toda aguada y fea. En cambio, si le echamos el limón y ahí mismo lo servimos, Se va a sentir la cebolla crocante, se va a hacer más rico. Okay, so I hope you are practicing your Spanish, my friends, because uh, these classes are also about Spanish. Spanish is, is very, very important, um, part of your whole understanding of Peruvian culture. So what my brother says, and I hope you are little by little understanding by words, that uh, my brother says that lemons or key lime, let me show you the key lime. This is the key lime. So the key lime... Peruvian key lime, which is very acidic, very potent, is the one that is used to prepare ceviche, for example. Uh, the key lime is so acidic that if you put the key lime right now, we are not eating immediately, right? So we put it right now. It will pass five minutes, ten minutes. And when we serve the other meal, this onion is going to be already, uh, he, he's, he's trying to say that mushy, could it be? Like uh, it will be overcooked. So if you want to have the conce wilted, thank you, Sherry. So if you want to have, you know, this sensation of a crispy, crunchy, like fresh onion, but cooked, you have to put this key lime, you know, like with few minutes before you want it to be in the table. Okay. And we never, this salsa criolla, Put in the refrigerator and use it for the night. No, 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 no. It's gone already. No, it's will it will it's overcooked. It will not function uh, as well as we want it to be. Okay, so that's what happens when you add too early the key lime. Okay, so that's a little trick from a uh, restaurant, um, you know, like a worker. Mm -hmm. So put it right when you are doing it. Yes, exactly, Evelyn. Exactly. If you are using that key lime, uh, I know that there are key limes or limes that are not as potent and that you, you know, you have to let even, you know, things to marinate for a long time. Right. But that's not the case with the key lime. <laughs> Sherry dice, muchas gracias, dice, por el tip. <laughs> gracias. Thanks to you also for your participation. This, this show would not be, you know, 
the same without you. Please come every time you can. Uh, it would be wonderful to have you always in, in every occasion. Uh, and, and please join us. It's, it's really motivational for, for us to see your participation. Sometimes we're going to be adding to uh, these events from our kitchen last minute because uh, it really depends on, on how is our day. But we will try to do this several weeks, several days a week. Okay? So activate the follow button for the next time this show is on. So uh, now, todavía hace falta un poquito, ¿no? Okay. ¿Te parece si les digo las opciones para la próxima vez? Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. So now, my friends, amigos míos, I want to give you some choices for next time for next cooking class. Okay. So we were planning uh, to you know, get very adventurous with some of these uh, options. Most of these dishes we're going to be presenting to you all are dishes that my granny, my granny used to cook. Uh, she's now in heaven, but she loved to cook. It was her hobby. And it's good to see my brother continues with that tradition. So uh, we have a, one of her cookbooks, her favorite cookbooks. We have also her manuscripts, like notebooks that she had with lots of her own recipes. But first we want to, you know, do some of the her favorite uh, in her cookbook, her favorite cookbook for you. And I want to show you some options. I want to show you three options and I want you to vote, please, for our next cooking class. So let's do, uh, let's see what are the options we have, okay? So first, so what is the first option for our next cooking class? Uh, this will be a soup. Oh, we haven't tried soups, my friends, right? So letter A, option A, because when you vote, please use the letter, okay? Because the names are a little bit complicated. So letter A, option A, menestron a la criolla. Have you heard about the menestroni Italian, right? This is the Peruvian version oh, of the menestroni. Oh, menestrona la criolla. On a maple. <laughs> so this is how it looks, okay? So this is the option number one. It's a soup, oh, but it's very, very thick, very consistent, right? So menestrone soup a la criolla. Yes, exactly. That's the option one, right? It's a soup. Next option. Oh, these are my, my daughter's paintings. <laughs> um, next option is a uh, ocopa limeña. Yum, yum. This is a entree. This could be served as an entree. This sauce is really fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, a la limeña, because it's the local limeñan style, uh, is this cookbook, by the way, is very old. And these are recipes from the grannies, uh, from the grannies. So many of these recipes are no longer being uh, made. So, well, this could be another option. So the letter B is a entree. Uh, this is the sauce that we're going to learn to make, right? That is called Ocopa Limeña, okay? And finally, letter C. I will give you three options, okay? Is the parihuela. The parihuela is a soup of mussels, a soup of um, mixed seafoods that is very strong, has lots of phosphorus. So it's going to be like, woohoo! After this one, you go to sleep. Okay, my friends, so are you ready to vote? Please start the voting. Let the games begin. <laughs> so you have here the options. Thank you so much for participating, by the way, on this little survey. And um, we are always uh, interested in showing you some like new recipes, like things that you will not even find in, in YouTube, like in the YouTube channel. No, no, no. We will show you, we will dive in like very, very deep into the waters of the Peruvian cuisine. Okay, so you have some time to uh, to vote again. What was again, uh, Maple Anita? Gracias. Thanks for your tip support. Gracias. I vote B. It looks this. <laughs> of course, Adam is the practical one. The easiest one of all of them was the letter B, which is just a sauce 
and we're going to show you how to serve it to make it look very easy so boys that are not really pro in kitchen can make it too okay so well voted adam muy bien uh the uh la letter a is what again oh let me show you maple just give me a second because i think i lost the page uh it was menestron criollo somewhere here um, let me turn the, the camera for you to see what all the next different recipes we're going to have. So it was menestrone, so it has to be in the M. Look at all of this. Okay, this is the one. Maple. This one's the one that we are going to replicate next time if you vote for A. It really depends on you. The menestron a la criolla, the Peruvian menestroni. Oh, that also shows that Italians were here uh, also conquering our palates with their cuisine. So it was letter A, menestron a la criolla. Letter B, the easiest one. Oh, this is the ocopa limeña. And letter C, a soup also as well. But this is a muscle soup parihuela. Okay, A, B, C. There you have it. And, ¿cómo va Lucho? Okay, so my brother is almost ready to serve. So, before he serves, ¿todavía no ha servido, no? Sí. sí, sí, sí. Ah, he's serving, he's serving, he's serving. So we're going to show you how is the final resulting look at this look at this look at the consistency maple all above <laughs> i i couldn't expect less from you my friend <laughs> we're going to be eventually doing all of the different ones but um we have to start at some point with something <laughs> Is the recipe for today recipe on my not yet married but please uh check out uh, my facebook group by the one by the way the one from last time the stuffed potato is already in my group uh adventures in lima with vanessa is a uh, to download on a pdf for free uh so the uh, the procedure everything okay so please go there and uh, get your your pdf with not just that one, all of the other recipes are there too, okay? Oh, gracias, Mabel, gracias, Evelyn. Uh, so also today's recipe is going to be this afternoon in the um, in my group, okay? And you can download it for free. Mm -hmm. So thanks for your posting the video. Oh, gracias, no, Mabel, I'm happy always to, to be uh, like sharing all of this with you all. So PDF, okay, but no Luchito cook. Yes, exactly. Yes. Lucho is, you know, the, the, the soul of, of this class. Huh? <laughs> so my brother has done something really cute. Look at what he has done. He has presented this chicken with these uh, potatoes, the sauce, and rice, because, you know, we Peruvians cannot live without the rice. Mm -hmm. So I want to be in your house. Here's... <laughs> Of course, Cecilia, I'm sure we are not living too far away from each other. <laughs> I'm going to Arroz a la Cuba. <laughs> so with this show, my friend, you will not need to do everyday Arroz a la Cubana, which is a very simple, easy, you know, delicious too. But please venture to do all of this. Luis Alberto will be helping you all the way. Okay. So now it's time to see the boating. Muy bien. So let's say we have one for C, Evelyn. Uh, we have one for A, Ronnie. Okay. We have uh, another for A. We have two for A, Maple. Uh, one for B, two for A, one for B, one for C, right? Two for B, C, C, no, C, B, C. B, A, B, is that right? I think B, 1. How many for B? Again, oh, B. Starting from Mary, I think. Mary was the first one. So, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, 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 cinco B. 
We have 5B, okay? 5B, okay. There's no more voting below here. Okay, uh, now we're going to see 5B. 5B, Lucho, acuérdate, ¿ya? 5B. Sí, 5 para B. Now yeah. let's see A. Oh, A, 1, 2, A, 3, A, Ah, 3A, 4A, okay, we have 4A, only 4A, and then C, we'll, we'll see C. We have 1C, 2C, 2C, 3C, so only 3Cs? Okay, so I think, yes, so the winner is B. Oh my god, the winner is B. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. We B have a winner. We have a winner. O Copa Criolla for next time. So here we have the salad. Luis Alberto has already added the key lime. Look at the key lime juice. Can you see that? Mmm, yummy. And now we are going to see the presentation, the final presentation. That. So we're going now to the table. Luis Alberto has presented everything really beautifully. So here you have your postcard of the day, uh, your foodie postcard. So first of all, let's go to see, <laughs> let's go to see the pot. This is my granny's pot. Uh, uh, we have all of these different um you know like the sauce are all very, very well integrated look at the mm, the smoke coming from inside so and then we have here the final result in how you should be i'm really <laughs> adam you have to come home you know that you have to come home for us to cook you so many delicious things right Mi casa es su casa, señor. <laughs> so look at this way of presenting this delicious peanut uh, chicken with peanut sauce. So you have here the potatoes, you have the chicken, you have the rice, and this adds a lot of beautiful color, this uh, salad of onion. So let me know if you have already your pictures and please send your pictures to me. Send, send us uh, your pictures in the group. Don't be shy. We'd like to see the picture because we cannot make pictures of our event. And we would like to use those pictures in our in our little uh, PDFs and, and cookbook that we want to do. So please share them with us. Mm -hmm. Another one over here, maybe. Ta -da! Um, so now it's time for the best part of all, which is tasting it. Would you like to see how is uh, like the face of Luis Alberto tasting this deliciousness? Uh, let me know it, please. So I think it's time, Luis Alberto, para que pruebes. Uh, Muy bien, Luis Alberto. Sí. Yes, yes, yes. Now it's time to change the location for a nice... You can do it. Oh, qué bueno, qué bueno. Okay. Mm. Ah, ha, ha. Mm. Rico, está bueno, muy caliente. No, 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 sí. Ah, está bien, ok, Rápido. let me. Ah, ok, ayúdame, espérate. Mira, acá. Ahí está. Y tengo espacio, ¿no? Sí. Ya, listo. Espérate, me voy a sacar esto. Ya, listo. Ok, amigos, so now it's time to. Try my brother's sauce. So first of all, what I like is putting a little bit of the onion here because the onion adds lots of freshness. Let me put a little bit of onion, a little bit of rice, rice and potato, the best combination. So ready? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Muy rico, Luis Alberto. Mm. So thank you, thank you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this event. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, these shows are made with lots of love uh, from a, um, a group of brother and sister uh, that want to show you the, the beauty of the Peruvian cuisine. 
through these simple recipes that you can make at home. Uh, but we are not just doing food. We, we are sharing with you uh, the, the heart of, of Peru. So um, if you want to learn more about Peruvian cuisine, also see that it's not difficult to cook Peruvian food. Uh, please activate the follow to um, my channel in Hey Go. I do also different tours. I am an official tour guide. So I do historic tours. I do lectures from home. I do all kinds of events. But I'm starting to do these events with my brother. Uh, so in that way, you can learn about Peruvian cuisine. Hmm? So did Luis Alberto had a haircut recently? Ah, te pregunto si te has cortado el pelo. Sí. Ah. Sí. He didn't, he didn't realize you would or notice that. So, yeah, muy bien. He wants to look good for you all. Uh, he, uh, he, wants, he, wants to, he wants to look good for you all. So, he hopes uh, you're liking uh, the way he looks. <laughs> and please come, come to every event. If you would like to support these uh, tours, these events, and you don't know how to, well, first of all, you, you possibly already know that these are free events that are just tip supported. So, if you would like to support us with a tip, uh, let me activate a button that will lead you into a, a information like screen where you're going to be able, if you can, to donate something, whatever is highly, highly appreciated. And also with your donations, we are automatically supporting Hago because Hago is also a free platform uh, that doesn't, uh, let's say, charge anything for, for the virtual tours, uh, but also, well, in that way, we can help them to continue uh, uh, like keeping this system constantly. So, uh, muchas gracias, amigos. Thank you so much for your support, for the friends that were able to support to this event. Uh, and until uh, next time. Uh, see you soon. Lots of love from Lima. Uh, see you tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're going to be doing a cooking class. Uh, so it's going to be the one you choose, the P. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, Evelyn. Hope to see you here soon. Take care.